We are going to touch on that, Contessa. <laughs> Believe me, and we want your input into the gambling side because we know you deal with it. By the way, the Golden Nugget Casinos, they're pretty much everywhere. We're in the only five diamond hotel in Houston, by the way, the Post Oak at Uptown, which, by the way, if you haven't been here, and I'm not just saying this because we're friends with Tillman, he's got a show on <laughs> CNBC. This place is unbelievably spectacular, so congratulations on its success. Thank you, Brian. The question I guess we asked a little bit earlier is, given the current conditions, we saw the markets, you see you know, bond yields have gone up. You talked about the debt markets, I thought, pretty sagely earlier. You're now a developer. You're a big-time developer. Do you have more plans to develop things more like this, where you've got the Bugatti dealership, Mastro's, or is this a one-off? You just kind of watch the world and see. There's definitely a need for you luxury hotels. You have never just sat back and watched I, the world. I know, but there, there is, we don't have the hotels that they have in Europe and other parts of the world. And we need to take it up a notch. And I think that there's a definite need for more luxury hotels in the United States. So it's something that I'll look at in your major cities, L.A., New York, Chicago. Would, would interest rates dissuade you from doing that? Let's say you identified a project. You say, this is going to be a great project for Landry's but I need rates to come down 100 basis points. For sure. Let, let me tell you, you start seeing rates at 8 and 10 and 12 percent, the world's going to shut down. We're so used to low rates now yeah. that the, the, the capitalism in America will definitely yeah. slow down. That's why we got to keep them low. Okay, let's talk about the two worlds you're in, gambling and sports, obviously. And Contessa, I want her to jump in as well because she knows the casino business a lot better than I do. It'll probably be a Rockets-Celtics final. Let's, just, let's just call it right now. Of course. How has the legalization, legalization of sports betting <coughs> changed Golden Nuggets business? Is it working? It, it for sure is working. Right now, it's, we only also have it now in New Jersey and Mississippi. But people are coming in and betting on football games and baseball games and, you know, soon basketball games. It's, uh, it's going to change it. But when, you, when the Internet gets going, when somebody can sit in their seat and bet who, who's going to make the first first down or who's going to make the next three-point shot, that's when you're going to just see everybody do it like they do in Europe. Uh, Tillman, it's Contessa. We just got the numbers in from New Jersey, $184 million in sportsbook wagers. Um, it's very big. It's still less than half of what Nevada made in its sportsbook. But uh, the analysts tell me that they think that a lot of the gaming insiders are hoping for big payoffs and, and it's not likely to happen. What's your sense of what the profit line is going to be here? Well, let me just say this once again. In, in, in the sticks and bricks buildings, it isn't going to just change the world for you. Until it is on the Internet and you're betting on so many different types of prop bets, that's when the numbers are going to change. So it's, it's really just the beginning. We're very happy at, at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City, what has already happened. But uh, it, 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 everybody's got to evolve. This is something so new. It, it's no different when a cell phone first came out and people started to learn to text. It, this is something so new, but the world of gambling on sports is going to totally change in the next five okay, years. Okay, what you're doing today, it's a different world in a few years. It's a homer for New Jersey. Okay, we live there, we work there, CNBC is based there. Two new casinos this year in Atlantic City. We saw what happened to the Revel, right? Total economic disaster. How are you guys doing in Atlantic City? Can Atlantic City, is it going to make it? Well, I'm going to tell you that it, it's so funny because when we were on break and Contessa just looked at the report that I did, the Golden Nugget was down 3% where everybody else was down double digits. And, and the new, the, the old revel, the ocean, uh, did not have a good month. So uh, it's going to get tough in Atlantic City again. There is not enough room for this many casinos, and I know that we create jobs by opening them, but if they go out of business, you're back in the same place. Mm -hmm. so and you got a half-empty Atlantic City. It looks 100%. bad. 100%. And then all it yeah. does, and this is my biggest thing, when you overdo anything, you create the jobs, but then nobody's making enough money, you have deferred maintenance, and that's how properties run down. And that's what happened in Atlantic City a few years ago. And people need to step in, and the regulators need to step in. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Well, here we are at the Houston's only five diamond hotel. Thanks for hosting CNBC again. We got to stop meeting like this. <laughs> that's a it's lot of fun. It's amazing how it works out. Thank you. Great guest. Landry's, they're everywhere.